In this video, we'll be going in depth about the server configuration and the config.json file. Before we begin, I will show you where the config.json file is located. Head over to Files, Servers, Unturn, and config.json file. The server configuration should be right in front of you. I'm, I'm going to close out the browser so we can see more of it. First up is Vax Secure and Battle Eye Secure. These are both anti sheets and are extremely important in preventing cheaters. It is also recommended to keep these values set to true. Max ping milliseconds is the maximum ping allowed for a player that is connected to the server. If the player's ping exceeds this limit, they will be kicked from the server. The following matches will be displayed in the server console. Timeout queue seconds is a timeout in seconds. The server will hold a spot in the queue for a player who has lost connection before the player loses his queue position. Timeout game seconds, same as timeout queue seconds, but for players who have already been in the server. If the player loses connection, they will have this amount of time to reconnect before losing the, their spot in the server. Max packets per second is the maximum number of packets one player can send to the server per second. The packets can be, for example, chat messages, player movement, etc. I don't recommend changing this value. The join rate limit window seconds says the time period during which the server counts how many times an IP address tries to connect. If an address connects too many times within this period, it gets blocked. But once the time is up, the count resets. Rate limit kick threshold. If a rate limited method is called this many times within a cooldown window, the player will be kicked. For example, the drop item method is rate limited to 10 times per second. If a player tries to drop more than 10 items per second, 10 times, then they will be kicked from the server because they will have reached the value of the rate limit kick threshold. This is normally impossible for normal players to do, but it can be used to prevent some exploits. I highly recommend not to change these settings at all. Fake lag threshold seconds. Normally, the server should be receiving multiple input packets per second from a player. And if more than this amount of time passes between input packets, we flag the player as potentially using a lag switch and, modif and modify their stats. For example, reducing player damage for a corresponding duration. Minimum value is one. The setting is used to detect and kick potential cheaters. Fake lag log warnings. Decides whether fake lag detection should log to command output. Floss pauses are relatively likely when client frame rates hitches. For example, loading dense regions. So this is best used for tuning threshold rather than bands. Fake lag damage penalty multiplier is the PvP damage multiplier while under fake lag penalty. Enable kick input spam. If enabled, it will kick players who are spamming the server with requests for input. This is to prevent cheaters from exploiting on the server. Enable kick input timeout. If enabled, it will kick players who are not submitting inputs for a long time. Enable scheduled shutdown. If set to true, the server will shut down at this time specified in the next field. Scheduled shutdown time when the server should be shut down. If enable scheduled shutdown is set to true, the time should be in this format. Also remember, that it's in the server's time zone. So if your server is hosted in California, the time zone is probably PST or minus eight hours UTC. Scheduled shutdown warnings. The server will display warnings to players before the server shuts down at the specified time. The warnings look like this in game. Enable update shutdown. If set to true, the server will shut down when an unchained update is released. I highly recommend enabling this option to keep your servers up to date automatically. Update Steam Beta Name You only need to change this value if you are using a beta branch of Unturned. 
Then to enable auto updates, set this value to preview instead of public. Validate econ info hash. Whether or not the econ hash is validated with the server. This prevents clients from locally exporting other players' visibility. Set to false to disable the setting. Use fake IP is letting the server use a Steam fake IP that allows players to join your server by IP address without port forwarding. It also protects your server from DDoS attacks because traffic is routed through Steam servers. Another great advantage of using fake IP is that it won't reveal your server's real IP. To learn more about fake IP, there will be a link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below or join the Discord link in the description.